all, essentially. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. But, you know, I speak from the heart on this matter. Because I think most expatriates in Hong Kong have tried to stay here as long as possible, you know, and, and uh, many, like myself, have lived here a long time, raised family, had children here in, in Hong Kong, and, um, uh, you know, really value uh, the, the work opportunities that they have. But travel restrictions, you know, really tough quarantine measures that have essentially stopped those people from seeing um, uh, loved ones back in their home countries. Yeah, very, very difficult for foreigners here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it does seem like many people are actually... I really think that going into next year, if there aren't clear signs that there will be an improvement, at least a lowering of quarantine restrictions, then people will make plans that they have to commit to, um, where, particularly where things like education um, will dictate that once they've made a decision, they'll stick to it. So, you know, I, th I think that's going to be a, a really important um, area for the, for the Hong Kong uh, policy makers to consider. This one is yeah, yeah, yeah. the nice. And also the hidden one. Okay. Shall everyone introduce these wines in back here? Right. And please make sure you tell everyone that these wines are open and need to push these wines. It's kind of pain, you know, just spending too much money on quarantine, especially everything is on almost double up, you know, uh, hotel expenses, uh, the flight ticket also. And on the top of that, you have to go through with so much testing. My son was six years. This is my last visit to India. And now it... You know, the main thing is my son is growing very fast. Like he, he was six years when I saw him last. Now he's turned to eight. Every day is very important for his life and especially for me to be with him as a father. Uh, on the top of that, yes, I, I missed uh, two of the major events of the wedding function in India. Uh, one of my, you know, uh, brother-in-law and uh, one of my cousin as well. Um, so those were kind of family event for us and all family members would get together there that time, but I was not there. If Hong Kong were to loosen the, the border controls for people arriving from overseas or adopt what other countries have done, so-called to live with the COVID-19 virus, then the chances of resuming travel with the, the mainland will be reduced. It is a very simple uh, 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 hypothesis. And so I can only say uh, to those uh, representing the uh, financial sector that uh, we have to look at it in contest. Uh, the contest is Hong Kong's uh, primary advantage lies in being the gateway to the mainland of China. If um, businesses established in Hong Kong could not go into the mainland, I think it will significantly reduce the attraction of Hong Kong as an international business hub and an international financial center.